So this video is pretty much going to be like me doing a radio show because basically what you're looking at, you're looking at pitch darkness. Basically, um, I'm doing this like if I was doing a radio show, you know, like the Dana Lash show or the Sean Hannity show, you know, when you're listening to the radio, when you're driving home from work or when you're driving to work or when you're driving to Disney World, if you're driving to church, if you're driving to wherever it is you're driving to and you're listening to the radio show, you're listening to Dana Lash and you're listening to Sean Hannity. This is what this is going to be. I guess you could say that this is the Vance Dykes show. All right. So within the last few days, we've been hearing a lot of drama in regards to the Brent Kavanaugh thing about him being nominated for the Supreme Court. And, you know, when he's nominated for the position of Supreme Court justice in the United States Supreme Court, you got all these people coming out of nowhere claiming that he sexually assaulted them, he raped them, or whatever. And you got all this crap going on. You got this uh, committee, you know, and they even admit that, you know, it's not a criminal trial. They just want to get the information. And, you know, I think about that. I'm like, well, if it's not a criminal trial, what, what are you doing with this? What is with this committee here anyway? I mean, if you're not going to charge the man with a crime, then what's the point in having it? What is the point in having it? You know why they do it. You know why these Democrats do it. They do it because I'm going to make it really simple for you. The only reason why these people are smearing Brent Kavanaugh's name through the mud is because he was nominated by Donald Trump to be the Supreme Court Justice. This happens every single time when Donald Trump nominates someone for a position in Washington, D.C., be it Supreme Court Justice or Secretary of State or Secretary of Education, Secretary of Defense, whatever it may be. Every time Donald Trump nominates someone, their names are smeared through the mud. They people they will say that they're not qualified for the job that they're being given or they will be they will say that uh he they're going to have people coming out of nowhere saying, "Oh, he sexually assaulted me" and all this other mumbo jumbo. You know, it's a it's all part of the process of trying to delay the nomination, the confirmation of the nomination so he can become Supreme Court Justice. They want to make sure that he never becomes Supreme Court Justice. And it's all because he's Donald Trump's pick. That's what it's all about. Do you hear what I'm saying? Those of you who are watching this video, listening to what I'm saying, do you hear what I am saying? These stupid Democrats, these corrupt politicians, I'm telling you right now, people... You need to wake up and smell the coffee. These corrupt Democrats, they don't care about you. They don't care about the American people. They don't care about the United States of America. They don't care about anything except their own selfish, greedy ambitions. They care about money. They care about sex. They care about power. They care about their own personal goals. And they don't care who they have to step on in order to get to that position. And they will manipulate you. They've done it plenty of times. Hillary Clinton has done it. They have manipulated people to sympathize with them, to give them votes. So that they can get your votes, so that they can get the position that they want in government. Hillary Clinton has been doing that. She's done that throughout the 2016 presidential election, and she still lost. Why? Because we could see the bullcrap. We could see the bullcrap that the Democrats, and especially Hillary Clinton, were trying to put out there. We saw right through it. And we saw that Donald Trump was the right person for the job. Even if he is the lesser of two evils, he's still a much better choice than the ultimate evil, which is Hillary Clinton. It's so ridiculous. And ever since Donald Trump got into office, a lot of great things have been happening. The employment rate is up. Unemployment is down. We have historical tax cuts, which have benefited a lot of people, especially people who work in Florida, especially Disney cast members. And all of these people who are so against Donald Trump... You know why they're against Donald Trump. Because he's doing what he's supposed to be doing as president. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. He is doing what a president is supposed to be doing. And these corrupt politicians 
hate him for that. This is exactly what Jesus Christ said when he was preaching his sermon on the mount, when he was preaching to his disciples and those who were listening to him, when he said, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men shall curse you and revile you, hate you, and say all manner of evil against you for my name's sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets of old. Why did they persecute the prophets of old? Because they were standing up for what was right. And the corrupt politicians in those days, the kings and the queens and the princes, all the royalty in ancient Israel, in the Middle East, in those days, basically, when you study history, you're going to find that every form of government in one form or another, monarchy, theocracy, democracy, totalitarianism, Every form of government, There's. it doesn't matter if it's a king or if it's an emperor or if it's president or prime minister, whatever, it doesn't matter. There's always corrupt individuals who are trying to pull strings just to fulfill their selfish ambitions. That's exactly what they did in the days of the Bible. In the Egyptian government, in the Israelite government, under certain kings and queens, after King David... And after King Solomon, actually King Solomon did the same thing himself in his last years as king of Israel, not to mention his last years on earth. That's exactly what they did in the, in the empires that crushed ancient Israel in the Old Testament, such as Babylonia. That's what the Babylonian, that's what the Babylonian Empire did. And that's what the Roman Empire did. That's what a lot of empires did. Have, that's what a lot of forms of government have been doing, especially in the days of the Bible, which is why Jesus said, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. Bl blessed are those, blessed are you when men shall hate you and revile you and curse you and say all manner of evil against you for my name's sake. Good for you. You have great reward waiting for you in the kingdom of heaven. Just like, just like the corrupt politicians did to the prophets of old because they stood up for what they believed and they stood up for what they believed was right and that's what Donald Trump is doing right now. He is standing up for what he believes in. He stands up for the American people and they hate him for that. That's what it's all about. This whole thing is just bogus, ridiculous nonsense. When are these leftist liberal democrats going to learn that they are losing the american people are winning this needs to stop and i am reaching out to all those who are watching this video listening to what i'm saying those who are those who are my fellow republicans my fellow conservative right wing republicans look this, this midterm election coming up in November, we need to do everything that we need to do to make sure that the Republicans win the offices. They need to make sure, we need to make sure that they win the elections. We need to make sure that Ron DeSantis becomes Florida's next governor. We need to make sure that Rick Scott becomes Florida's next senator and we get that piece of crap Bill Nelson out of Washington. And I am reaching out to all Republicans, all conservatives, all those on the right in all states, in Michigan, in Arizona, in California, in Texas, in Alaska, everywhere in this country, in Hawaii, everywhere. We need to start voting Republican. We need to start making sure that the Republicans get into office because the Democrats have shown what they're really all about. They're all about corruption. They're all about selfish ambition. They like to manipulate people. They like to pull strings to make sure that things happen the way they want things to happen. They have shown their ugly side. And it seems like they're winning. They're not winning. But we need to make sure that we keep doing what we need to do. Look, we've already, we're already on the right path. We've already made the right choice so far by getting Donald Trump into office. But getting Donald Trump into the White House is only one step on the stair 
on the staircase or the ladder of success. We need to take more steps. And the next step that we need to take right now is get to the ballot on November, in November this year, and vote Republican. Everyone in Florida, vote for Ron DeSantis. Vote for Rick Scott. And whoever the Republican candidate is in your state who's running for governor, who's running for Senate, running for this running for the senate running for whatever office they're running for you got to make sure we need to show the democrats that we are sick and tired of their bull crap by replacing them with true americans true politicians who really do want to help this country and so far it seems like only the republicans are willing to do that that's all i got to say for this that's all i got to say for this episode thank you for watching thank you for listening to me Goodbye and God bless. I'm Vance Dykes and I approve this message.